this is uh, a tutorial I wanted to do and what it's about is the problem of sewing a round end onto a bag or a cover or whatever kind of application you got um, I faced a problem when I had to do this and I know other people have too uh, you make something such as this and you want to sew a round end onto it and to calculate that uh, is kind of different um, it can be kind of difficult to do but I want to show I want to show you all how to do that so it'll be precise and you won't have any kind of bunched up fabric and it'll be all clean and nice and neat so I sewed this uh, this is just a scrap piece of fabric I used and first of all we're just going to measure what the uh, circumference of this is this could be this could be a zipper here, or this could be uh, just like it is if it's a cover for something. Uh, I made a uh, cover for a welder one time and I had to make a piece like this to go over the exhaust pipe. So, anyways, if I measure this, I've got eight and a quarter. So, multiply that by two, no, like sixteen and a half. Uh, so 16 and a half is my circumference of this. So what's going to be the uh, size of my circle? Well, it's going to have to be a little bit bigger than 16 and a half, and you're going to have to use pi uh, 3.14 to figure that out. If it's 16 and a half here, let's do 16.5 divided by 3.14 equals five point uh well five and a quarter so five and a quarter is the diameter of this you know if it was a perfect circle uh, five and a quarter would be your diameter so the circle I want to cut is not going to be five and a quarter it's going to be bigger than that because of your seam allowance So if I have a circle here, if I make it five and a quarter, that ain't going to work. Uh, it's going to have to be just a little bit bigger than that because of my seam allowance. So let's say I make my seam allowance a quarter inch. Uh, you have to come inside of that, and, and inside your circle needs to be the circumference of the end of your bag. Okay, so what was this? Sixteen and a half. divided by 3.14 equals five and a quarter. Well, let's say I make my seam allowance um, a quarter inch, which is what I usually do because I know the spot on my machine where a quarter inch is. So I'm basically adding, you, you can imagine adding a quarter inch uh, on either side of this five and a quarter inch uh, diameter circle. So five and a quarter uh, plus a uh, half inch would be five and three quarter. And half of five and three quarter would be uh, like 2.8, almost 2.9. So we don't have to get super, super uh, technical because the canvas stretches a little bit. But uh, this is the way I do it, and you can do it, you can get inventive, you can get creative in your own way. So, if I want to make this circle, uh, I have to make the, the radius, I'll make a, little, make a little quick compass here. And then measure 2.87, which would be more than 2 and 3 quarters, it would be almost, almost 3. Okay, and so I can take a little hole punch. And I can make a mark there. And I can make a mark over here, a little hole, I mean. And uh, I use this for a whole bunch of different things. If you, you need an antler shed for doing any kind of work like this. So, like this, I can make my radius make 
make a uh, circle. And then I'll cut that out. And these are really handy too if you don't have one. Be good to get them. I usually cut just on the outside of the circle because we all have a tendency to uh, make our seam allowance a little bit bigger than what we intend to. And there you go, there's your circle. And you see, we're going to sew that onto here. Now, granted, this circle, again, is a little, is a half inch bigger in diameter than this because we have a quarter inch seam allowance. So, uh, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine. We're going to sew it and see how it turns out. Okay. So, I know our quarter inch is on my machine, it's just on the edge of my pressure foot here. So that's where I usually sew my uh, seam allowances. And we are just going to, uh, I'll go ahead and turn this inside out. Kind of slow, and we're going to pay a lot more attention to uh, the most critical part is the seam allowance on the round piece, not so much the piece we're sewing it to. I could sew in this much or in this much, and it's not going to make a difference to the length. Um, but it's uh, critical to get the seam allowance right on the circle piece. So. if you wanted to, you could take the circle piece and sew with the circle piece on the other side and you could you could draw your quarter inch seam uh, if you wanted to, you know, make sure you're real precise. Um, or if you had a bigger seam, if you wanted like a half inch seam, if your uh, machine doesn't have marks on it. Uh, a lot of home sewing machines have marks. And don't worry about sewing slowly because uh, it's going to be the difference between a failure and a success. Um, I can't. I don't sew really fast, and uh, you'll have less failures that way, and um, so it end up saving you time more than wasting you time. Okay. And so there you go. You have a circle that is uh, without any bunching up or anything like that. So when you take something like this and you turn it inside out, you're going to have a real nice neat uh, round end to your uh, material and uh, it's going to look real uh, clean and nice. And uh, usually when I sew something like this, uh, I, I sew some seam binding on the raw edge on the inside. Um, you can do that if you want, depending on if it's going to be seen or not. But uh, that's how you do that, and I hope that helps somebody. Uh, conversely, you could do the opposite. If you made your, uh, which I think this is actually easy, easier, determine the size you want of your circle, and then go from there. So if you were uh, doing your circle first, you had a circle that was 10 inches in diameter, uh, come in to nine and a half, okay, if you're having a quarter inch seam, a quarter inch on either side, so it's nine and a half, and do nine and a half times 3.14, and that's going to give you your length, your circumference of the uh, round piece that you're sewing the circle to. So, uh, forwards or backwards, you can, uh, you can do this using pi and taking into account your seam allowance, and uh, that's how you can do it.